Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you, so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put in your life today. So I'm going to title this, which is weird because I don't normally title these, and or I'm going to start with a question. How about that? I'm going to start with a question to you. Um, are you excited about the Lord right now? Like absolutely, like right now, are you excited about the Lord? Are you excited enough about something that the Lord has taught you to share it with somebody today? And the reason I think that we should get up and ask ourselves every day if we're excited about the Lord, uh, if we spent time with him in the morning, um, and if we're excited enough about him to tell somebody about it, is because when I read about the growing church in Acts, in Acts 13, 48, it says, um, and when the Gentiles heard this, you know, the gospel, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord. And as many were appointed to eternal life believed. And the truth is, is that when people opened up their, when the Gentiles opened up their hearts to Jesus, they couldn't help but talk about it. They were glad, they believed, and they talked about it. Um, And the truth is, is that you and I, we all have a, like a public, right? We have people that God has put in our lives who are witnessing our daily choices, whether they tell us they're watching us or not. And these people who are, who are God ordained to be in our life, whether they're in your book club or your fitness group or your neighbors or whatever, they're God ordained to be in your life. And um, he has placed you there for a purpose, and the purpose is to share about him, to share your share about him, to open up your life, and, um, and to talk about something that you learned or something about the Lord that you know to be true. And here's the thing. If you aren't excited about Jesus right now, all you have to do is ask him. Come to him, ask him, spend time reading a verse or a chat, like whatever. Spend time with him in prayer. Ask him to teach you or ask him to fill your heart with his love um, or ask him to open up so that you don't miss an opportunity to talk to somebody about how much you love him. Because the truth is we talk about what we love. You know, and I often go back to thinking about when I first fell in love with my husband and how much, I mean, you couldn't get me to shut up about him. You know, and that's what love does. It so overflows your heart that you cannot help but speak it. And I have been guilty, and I'm sure we all have had periods of our life where we have been guilty of not spending enough time with the Lord, of ignoring him, um, of forgetting about the wonderful things, the amazing things that he's done for us. But let's not let that day be today. Um, So... I just pray for myself and I pray for you along with the prayers that, I, um, that I'm saying for myself today that, uh, that you would just turn your eyes back on the Lord um, and let him bless you so that you can be a blessing to others as you go out or stay in today. Till next time, Katie.